So welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a six inch horizontal butt. So here you can see we're prepping it mechanically to create our chamfer. Then to tack up, 2.4 wire in, line up the two pieces, check that we've got no overlap on the inside. And we're going to bridge tack these. A lot of the time you can actually tack by rooting actually in the prep but here we're going to put a run of weld which covers the two faces without actually fusing into the bottom prep so that as we weld we can take these out and just start on the finish of our route so routing along we're using a keyhole method rather than a lay wire where we create a little keyhole so you fuse away the top and the bottom plate and then add filler material into the center. This is a technique that you can use on stainless steel as well. And it creates quite a flat weld. So our angle is slightly pointing up, 10 degrees pointing forward. fusing top and bottom and creating a nice even run on the inside of the, of the butt. So with our bridge tacks, as we go round, just grind them out of the way and it leaves a nice prepped area to continue with. So then second run is called a hot pass. So the idea of this run is just to put a slight run and put some more material into the prep so that when we start using our stick and MMA welding we don't overheat the root. Overheating the root can do one of two things. You can either overheat it to the point where you're actually pushing it through and you create a hole where you get blow through, or you can actually call, cause suck back. So what that does is it drags the material and, and creates a convex weld actually inside. So moving on to our fill. So first run, slight upward angle, 15 mil drag angle, using 7018s, 3.2s, and about 110 amps, DC positive, so electro positive. So the first run is we're going to split into two. So the idea is, is to put the run in so that we don't actually get too tight to the top of the, of the previous hot pass run. So that when we put, then put the run on the top, we're not working in a tight crevice that then creates lack of fusion if we can't burn and fuse down into the bottom of that. So leaving tight areas is always detrimental when welding. So second run. Here we're just creating like covering that, that first run. But as you can see, we haven't left ourselves too tight a gap be able to finish it. So two runs in. Aim of the bottom run is try not to fuse all of that bottom edge away because you'll need that as a guide for the cap. So we're just laying it right on the very edge of that prep, moving quite quickly. same angles so then second run fill covering half of the run before remembering not to create a tight gap up at the top using the 
same angle. So then third and final to flush. Same as the previous layer, we've not left it too tight so that we can actually fuse into the bottom. So flush complete, we then move on to the cap. So we're going to cap with three runs. So the first run you're following that bottom edge, so you're burning that bottom edge away, using it as a guide to give you a, a line to follow. So that run complete, we move on to our second cap. So this run we're covering half of that first run. So we're just following on from doing exactly the same and then third run, being mindful that we don't overheat that top edge to create some undercut. So your amp setting is quite crucial on this. If you are too high, you will pretend to undercut that top edge. So I haven't welded all the way around just to show you the run sequence. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this has been informative for you. Check out one of our other pipe welding videos coming up on the screen now.